Now, what is required in return, what I will need from all of you, is unprecedented responsibility and accountability on all of our parts. The American people are watching. They need this plan to work. They expect to see the money that they've earned, that they've worked so hard to earn, spent in its intended purposes without waste, without inefficiency, without a fraud. For all those people in government who are honoring the pledge to uphold the law and honor the Constitution, no longer will you hear the eight most dreaded language, words in the English language. The Vice President's office is on the phone. This is a matter of great concern. Uh, we discussed it in depth today. And the six-party talks are the framework that we believe is best uh, positioned to make progress on our goals with respect to North Korea. Senators, before I finish, I want to address directly the concerns many of you have raised about the mistakes I made in preparing my tax returns. These were careless mistakes. They were avoidable mistakes, but they were unintentional. Well, first of all, <clears throat> I've thrown away the clock <laughs> um, because it was absolutely useless <laughs> at the end of the day. Um, uh, President-elect and I uh, agreed that uh, this would be open-ended, and so there is no uh, time frame. One time will, will be closed. Um, the president-elect during the campaign made that promise. Steps are being taken um, as, we see, as we speak to look at the manner in which um, that can occur. As a nominee to be Secretary of the Interior, I will do all I can to help reduce America's dependence on foreign oil. I look forward to working directly with President-elect Obama as an integral part of his team as we take the moonshot on energy independence. It must be innovative and creative in all its work during a time of economic anxiety and limited resources. Yes, Mr. President-elect, you have challenged the department, and the hardworking and dedicated people who work in that department will meet that challenge. And I'm no different. I'm a beneficiary of the struggles of people like Raul Saida and people like Bobby Garcia and Congressman Esteban Torres. We have to continue to think differently and do everything we can to put our students in a position to be successful, to graduate from high school prepared for careers and for college, and put them on a path to pursuing the American dream. The problem is that HUD has been left behind. HUD is really a generation behind what's happening in housing in state and local areas across the country. And so, first of all, what HUD needs to do is to catch up. I'm going to do everything I can to help uh, the president find the votes uh, for the conference report once the Senate passes this. Uh, I'm going to work very hard next week. I'm going to work the phones. I'm going to talk to my former colleagues. Uh, and uh, do all that I can to persuade them. And, you know, by the way, it's dying because, you know, the parasites like the pine beetles aren't being killed in frosts. It's, there are subtle reasons. And the Canadian boreal forest, they're, they're, most of it is dying now. It's swaths of it, miles and miles of this stuff.